pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Reorganization. So, who wants to be chair? I nominate Bill. Okay. I will second that. Who wants to be vice chair? Nominate Ms. Fisher. Second that. I guess all in, again, all in favor. Because all, in favor. all in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Um, do I continue or do I nope. turn this over at this point? Pass it on. Bill, go ahead. I'd like to consider a motion to appoint uh, Ms. Tackett. Uh, do I have to say the manager, Ms. Tackett, or just Ms. Tackett to uh, the position of Secretary of Upper Frederick Township? All in favor, say aye. Need a second. Uh, second. I second. There we go. Uh, let's consider a motion. So should I vote? Say all, all in favor, and then we say aye. That's unless unless people don't agree. Okay. Uh, all in favor. Aye. aye. Perfect. <laughs> consider a motion to appoint Ms. Tackett, manager of Upper Frederick Township. All those in favor, say aye. Okay. I we'll second. Second. I second. All in favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 There we go. Be patient. This is my first time. <laughs> We did get everything sworn. Yep. Yes. Uh, let's see. E. Consider a motion to appoint uh, Linda Major of Major Mastro to the appoint position of treasurer for Upper Frederick Temple. All those in favor? All right. I second. I second. I second. No. No. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. Uh, Consideration, uh, make a motion regarding 2024 Board of Supervisor meeting schedule to be set the first Wednesday of every month at 7 p.m. as a work session and the second Wednesday of every month at 7 p.m. as a regular uh, business meeting. Second. second, do I have a second? We are gonna ask for a second. And we, is Wednesday the best day for everybody? It is. For myself. Well, I know it's for me. All right, is it fine. not for you? It's fine. I'll make it work. It's just we've been doing these meetings on Thursdays yeah. for time and morning. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Uh, so all those in favor, say aye. I'll second the plan. I'll second that. All those in favor. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Consider a motion uh, regarding. Uh, we got so G, consider a motion regarding additional board meeting work sessions to be scheduled for January 17th, 24th, and 31st of 2024. Uh, the reason we're, we, we're gonna have these meetings here is because we have two uh, new supervisors and we need to be brought up to speed in regards to some items that are here as far as building campus, fee scheduling updates, development status, and codes updates. Uh, do I have a second? My second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Will those be at the same time, 7 p.m. or? 7, you wanna have those at 7 p.m.? At yes. 7 p.m., okay. yeah. Yeah. Would, uh, All right, so that's the end of your um, reorganization. If you wanna have public comment at this point, you can, or okay. you can save it for later. No, it would be fun. Do we have any public comment? Mr. Carrasco? I'd like to welcome our two new supervisors to the board, Peggy and Terry. And as this is a reorganizational meeting, uh, there's some things that have gone on in the past that we can shine a little light on and just get some information. Uh, one is as far as the posting of the minutes. You know, that's been a thorn in the township side for years now. We brought it up to Board supervisors and brought it up to the township manager, and that's all yet nothing's been done. Who's responsible for posting the minutes? The board chair of that particular board, the township manager, township secretary. Any answers on whose responsibility it is, whose job it is? Do you want me to answer? Yeah, 
Because so, I don't know. So I'm responsible for posting them once they've been approved. Okay. Now, if the board would like to change that policy and put and have us post unapproved minutes, we can do that. It's your choice as a board. Okay. I wouldn't recommend posting. Well, that's that's not where I'm getting to. It's not where I'm actually minutes. going. But okay. we did start posting the recordings. Right? Do, are we posting the we recordings should, by the should, following? The minutes should be there. Yeah, the minutes should all be there. No. Is there no one here. Okay. Well. I gave you a list of them. Uh, so we, we'll at least commit to. Yeah, maybe provide the list again. I'm not sure what that list is. I'll do that uh, Because a lot of them seem to be missing. And you can't go really follow or chase down anything you're looking for when key minutes are missing. Mm -hmm. So as this is a meeting we're going to be appointing people, I ask you to take into consideration people that haven't been doing their jobs or haven't been, you know, submitting their minutes to be posted or whatever, you know, wherever fault lies that's not being done. I ask you to take that into consideration before you go ahead and be appointed to say people have to go over and over and over again. You voted for transparency. You know, hold this to two. That's all I have to say. Thank you. I will just note that our our volunteers on different commissions have nothing to do with minutes. It's all on staff. So if there okay. are some missing, we're not aware of them, and we'll figure that out. And if Mr. Carafa submitted a list, um, can we just revalidate his list? Um, I'll, I'll resubmit it to you. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Anything further? Any other public comments? Okay. Uh, we're on number six here, appointments of township professionals. Uh, I'd like to consider a motion to request RFPs for the position of township solicitor, uh, township civil engineer, township environmental, with water, wastewater engineer for 2024. Again, this here isn't, uh, we're not doing this out of spite or anything. We're just trying to make sure we're competitive with everybody else across the board. Uh, and some of these folks are, may very well be retained. We're just trying to, again, make sure we stay competitive. I second. I, I second. second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 The only comment I would like to make regarding that is I don't think a decision, uh, the board probably needs to consider whether or not we do those simultaneously or consecutively. And I don't know if that needs to be decided at this meeting, but while we're going out for three RFPs, um, potentially there could be a lot of work associated with reviewing sure, applicants. So. At this point, what I could do is um, work on putting together some draft RFPs and try to have them to you at your next meeting, and then we'll have it as an agenda item that you can decide how you want to proceed. Thank you. Uh, consider a motion to appoint Kenneth Picardi of YDASP as interim township solicitor at the rates according to their proposal for 2024. I have a second. A second. Okay. Those in favor say aye. 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 Uh, let's see. Mm -hmm. So, see, what were we going to do at this point? I think uh, we should consider pointing this to the zoning hearing board to appoint their own solicitor. That's fine. Um, you okay with that, Sean and Lisa? It's okay? It's yeah, fine. so can we just comment for transparency of why sure. we're doing this because they see it on their agenda. Um, this is We're talking about C, appointing a zoning hearing board solicitor. Um, previously, it has been done by the board of supervisors during the reorganization. Um, we did some research and it was the municipalities, uh, I forget what it's called, Man, municipality planning code that actually designates that the solicitor for the zoning hearing board should be appointed by the zoning hearing board, not the board of supervisors. So we left it on the agenda because it's been here in previous agenda reorganization meetings. We just wanted to be clear that um, why we were reappointing this to this item to the zoning hearing board that they can appoint their own solicitor. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, if we're going to send out for RFPs here for uh, item D, 
it would be considering a motion to appoint LTL consultants as interim township civil engineers at the rates uh, according to their proposal for 2024. Um, I second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Consider a motion to appoint LTL consultants as interim township zoning officer and building inspector at the rates according to their 2024 proposal. For the second. Can I ask for clarification? Is this consultant um, the zoning officer? Is that tied to the um, RFP associated with the previous item D, the civil engineer? Are they two separate items? Because we so didn't. they are two separate items. They're the same company, but they are <coughs> two separate categories. So it, it's, I guess the question is, if you want to go out for an RFP for this as well, um, it wasn't part of the initial right up there. Um, but if you do, I can work on that as well, and then at your next meeting, you can decide. So I guess, let me ask you this though, we're talking about the rates here, what's to stop somebody from coming in and like knowing what the rates are and just undercutting the folks that are? Well, it's, um, I mean, it's public information. Right. So, and typically rates for municipal work are generally in the same ballpark. Okay. So I don't change anything there. But when it comes down to it, you know, a couple dollars in rate, I think will be kind of minor because you're going to be looking more for the experience and the quality of service and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Right, so that, we're going to not send out for RFP for that then. We would just be appointing them now. It's up to you guys. I mean, I can, I can at least, if you want to do an interim appointment, I can at least do some research on an RFP for your next meeting. Because if he's part of the same company, I would. I don't have a strong feeling okay. either way. Right. I feel so like we've got three RFPs yeah. that we're going out for, and maybe that's plenty for this year. Then. I, I agree. All right. So, so, see how so, mm -hmm. right. so not the interim part. Right. Okay. So let's consider a motion to appoint <coughs> LTL consultants as township zoning officer and building inspector at the race according to their 2024 proposal. I second that. Oh. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, consider a motion to appoint IES engineers as interim township water wastewater engineer rates according to their 2024 proposal. Do we have a second? I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, consider a motion to appoint Jared Landis as Township Emergency Management Coordinator for 2024 and Jeff Steigelman as the Township Deputy Emergency Management Co Coordinator for 2024. Can I make a comment? Am I allowed to comment before mm -hmm. making a second? Absolutely. Because <laughs> I know Jared, you're here. Um, I don't know if Jeff is here. No, he's I didn't see Jeff. Um, what I would like to make sure that we make as a priority, and I believe it's on one of the agenda items for the um, upcoming meetings in January, is that um, when Jared and I and Tracy, we were in a meeting for the emergency management uh, planning tabletop discussion. Um, it wasn't a tabletop exercise, it was how to run an exercise. Um, it was brought up that our emergency management plan has not been updated since 2016. Um, and since there's two new supervisors on this board, I would like to make sure that we put emphasis this year on the emergency management plan with regards to making sure that we have updated, updated the emergency management plan, which covers things like how to evacuate if Limerick has an issue. Um, what do we do if we have you know, a major flood in the area? Um, Flood, obviously, is probably something we're a little more familiar with, but there are another, other types of emergency management plans. So I do want to make sure that we review as a Board of Supervisors and with um, Jared and Jeff, if you're committing to this position, that we actually get through those this year, review them completely. So I just want to make sure, Jared, that you're on board with the responsibilities of this position, that it's not a passive position. It's really going to, needs to be an active position this year so that we are all involved and up to speed on how to handle an emergency management plan in this township. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. and, are, and are you committed to that? Yeah, we can talk. <laughs> I don't mean it's actually you doing it all. I mean, it's an active involvement from 
the problem the thing is I have to do it all. As the emergency mm -hmm. management coordinator, that is part of the responsibility. Mm -hmm. So yes, there's input from the staff and from the supervisors, but when it comes down to it, it's my responsibility to make sure that it's there. So the plan that we have, just so everyone is aware, yes, it was adopted in 16 or 15, Tracy, what did we figure out? I think it was 16. Okay. It's current, it covers everything. Mm -hmm. There's vendors in there that, yes, we just need to double check and we should be looking at that. But it's not like it's lacking in anything. It's what we have is standard for the township. Is there updates that need to be made from over the years? Yes, but it's not like it's lacking in anything. It's still, you know, covers mm -hmm. if we have a flood, where what's going to happen and let's be honest we live in a when it floods we live in an island mm -hmm. there's no getting from a to b <laughs> um if limerick goes off we follow the limerick plan and knock on wood that limerick's plan is what it's supposed to be mm -hmm. um so yeah i mean there's just minor updates that need to be made but i would like to take this board of supervisors through tabletop exercises this year so that every person involved knows, what, from the township <coughs> employees, knows what their responsibilities are when that happens. Because I, I honestly, now as board of super, I wouldn't know what my responsibility is. So I need, I know I need to go through those through tabletop exercises on what's my responsibility. And we talked about this, Jared. We know that we need to have a better internal coordination. So mm -hmm. I think I think that can be incorporated pretty well. Okay. Then I will second the motion. <laughs> I'll favor. Aye. 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 Uh, um, uh, consider a motion to appoint uh, Pennsylvania State Police as Township Interim Fire Marshal for 2024. Uh, we're currently in the middle of interviewing for a new fire marshal now. Uh, and once that process is complete, then, then they would just take over this one right here. Uh, and I don't know if everybody knows, but Pat Corcoran resigned as our fire marshal. So well, we are, we haven't started the interview yeah. process. We're right. collecting applicants. So we can have to interview for the position of fire marshal. I second the motion. All those in favor? Aye. Consider a motion to reappoint Robert C. Besgin as Township Auditor for 2024 at the rate of 6200 to complete 2023 audit per a three-year contract approved in February 9th, 2023. This is the two years of the three years remaining on the contract. Uh, what is that? I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, Consider a motion to appoint Burke's earned income uh, tax bureau to collect the earned income and occupational privilege tax for Upper Frederick Township. Vote second. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Consider a motion to set the hourly rate for summer help as needed in the range of $15 to $20 an hour. Um, I second. Vote second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Appointments to boards, commissions, and committees. Uh, so we have everybody have uh, the applicants. Sean, if you have time to review them, Lisa, if you have time to review them, I have a couple over here mm -hmm. as well. Yes. Um, I'd like to make another comment. Yeah, absolutely. Go <laughs> Being ahead. new, I have lots to say. <laughs> um, uh, what I would expect from the Planning Commission um, is for um, trying to be more proactive on our ordinances. I do feel like in what I experienced just as a resident in 23, early in 23, you know, in light of uh, the Tim Hendricks development um, that we were trying to rush through getting some ordinances through that might help out our community. Um, I just would like to make sure that the Planning Commission members are committed to reviewing ordinances and being on top of those ordinances um, proactively and not necessarily when we're under the gun and feeling like we need to review them. I don't know if that is done today. I just know that 
earlier in 23, I felt that it was a rush to get through some ordinances. So I would just ask that the Planning Commission Board um, be more proactive with the ordinances um, and potentially identifying more opportunities and idea for ideas for land preservation for our residents. So. Okay, how many? So of these seats, how many? How many do we need to to refill, or how many are open right now? So we have one open currently. That's the one that David Hartline was in. Um, we have, according to our government roster, we have three positions open for reappointment. However, that seemed to be contrary to our code, so I went back in history to figure out how we ended up there. Um, and it looks like this goes back to 2017. And it looks like what had happened um, back in around that time, uh, somebody had inadvertently put somebody's, uh, let me just put, check it out here, hang on. Was, um, so in 2017, Randy Wampel was reappointed um, to the Planning Commission, and he should have had a term ending 12-31-2020 at that time, but it was listed on the government roster as 12-31-2019. And by doing that, that resulted in three members being up for reappointment in the same year. So when I followed that through into the future, Jared Landis, um, who is one of the three this year who's showing up as being Oh, you know, needing to be reappointed. He technically should have one more year on that term. He should be reappointed um, 12, 31, 24, and then that would get us to having two per year. Um, so so I, Jared, Jared filled, he filled Troy's position. Correct, and Troy filled Randy Randy's position. Yeah, position. Um, so at this point, the best, probably the best thing to do there is to go ahead and just assume that Jared Landis has one more year left on his term. Then that would give us the two people who are up for reappointment, which is um, Bill O'Donnell and Rob Keenan, both of which who have expressed interest in remaining on the planning commission. Um, so that's just an offering of one way that you can handle this. And then we also did get um, four interested parties in the positions okay. and does this so what happens with uh, I guess that last oh, so hardline's position is still open correct and we still have these other and then so, you have so okay. right so you have one open position and then two positions to be reappointed if you choose or so so do you want to start with the reappointments what do you, what do you guys think um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, Dave Hartline's position, Dave's not here, is he? No, no. Um, so, we heard last week he was interested in resigning from the audit board, audit board but that was not mentioned <coughs> on here. So, I'm assuming he's still an active member of the audit board. Correct. At this point, yes. Okay. Um, he submitted his resignation. It's waiting to be accepted. Right. Correct. So, Addressing that first, my preference is to deny his resignation, um, primarily because the audit position was he was elected by the township, and that happened before 